We had a bit of a storm last few days. It's a bit of a water quality was awful. Well, it's calming down now anyway. Two of them almost supposed to be dying down. We might do a bit of skin away. species today uh, Alright guys, this is the rig I'm using for Breen. Literally a tiny bit of a fresh bull black look tip with a squid size for hooks just two cropper and a six ounce gripper. I changed the tactics now. Put a tiny tiny hook on the on the worm baits. I feel that will do the business. Um, the other one was too too big to be honest. So base coming coming back straight. First fish uh, going for Daniel. He, he, he just got a small bass on the feathers. Nice little one. So I'm hoping for Bream on the right hand side up there. Two up a four, no, four size four hooks here. Yeah. So, what thing we got? 
roughly that was about two or three hours to low tide. And then we're gonna fish all the way back up. It's too bright at the moment for any big fish. He's caught on my left hand. He's been here all morning. Uh, he caught a three dog fish and uh, lost a good run. So. Uh, loads of potential on this beach. Hopefully, uh, get a decent fish out later on. Not hopefully at the moment. You never know. So if you get anything, get back to these guys. Thanks for watching. Oh shit! Small. Uh, I'm not sure, mate. A dab. Smallest dub ever. Dub is it? Yeah. You know what? Look at the size of that. Get it out as a tote bait. Look how small that is. Wow, tiny. Oh, it's just like this tiny dab. What size of the lead, isn't it? It is actually the size of the lead. I think that's worthy of the tote bait. Long's beating, guys. Smallest dub ever. Well, let's get, let's put it back. Fish that. I think so, mate. Oh, stop. Steady day so far. Little dab and a little dogfish and a <coughs> half a mackerel. I've got a toy brick on that actually, uh, wired, 100 pound wired, uh, fully panel. It's a lovely day as well. The wind died down as well, so turned out to be really nice that afternoon. About three o'clock in the afternoon now. Two hours before low. Yeah. I'm hoping to catch a bream on the small hooks. Never caught one uh, before, so it'd be nice to get a nice bream. It's overcast now, which is good. Wind died down. I'm getting bites on the mackerel, dogfish stuff in a tea again. So I need to get anything else. Uh, get a nice little surprise here on the feathers. Nice lawns. 
Lance. I'll put it in your bait box. Bass, mate. I'd chuck one of them out for a bass. Yeah, yeah. Put it out, put it out live. Go for. On the rig I gave you, but just a little one. Oh yeah, lovely. It's too small to keep, obviously, but put him back. Yeah, there. yeah. So now I've had three dogs and a nice little bream. Yeah, lovely. Is it first, first bream ever or not? Yeah, first yeah. bream. Yeah, I'll get a photo of it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we'll get it put back. Yeah, nice one. Man. That was my target species. It was close to your rods, lad. Bream! Just Has it? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, I love it. What is that, like 10 minutes off mm. the my bream? Back to my bream. Literally, I'll hold your rod. I'll hold your rod. I'll literally pass it out, I'll just see. That's my turn, I'm done. It's about the same size as mine, that's literally the bait must have been in there for like 10 seconds, drop the bottom uh, and a bang. The same rig that I was using, right? Yeah, it? change the rig. Size four hooks. Literally, literally drop the bottom. <laughs> Brilliant. First ever bream. Adam's rings uh, working very well, killed it again. Where is it? Where's it gone? Behind yeah, it. Yeah? Gone. Right, well, turning out to be a decent session, this. Always wanted to catch a bream. Uh, one species I never, never had a chance to catch here in the UK. So finally got one. So if I got four different species, dogfish, dab, and then lawns on the feathers, and the bream. Yeah. The tide just turned now, but about half an hour into the flood. Either 10 o'clock tonight, then you're gonna fish your eye, and then maybe an hour down in the darkness. Then probably pack up then. Right, stay tuned, guys, and uh, hopefully, get some more fish and get back to you. Quick update, guys. Last few hours have been really slow. Uh, loads of spider crabs uh, stripping the baits. I've literally uh, pulled one out, you've probably seen it uh, just before this. Just got a full of mackerel out, hoping for a tow. And a uh, black look on the other one, maybe a bass. So, yeah, we got about about what time is it? Yeah, we've got about an hour and a half to uh, high tide now. We hope as soon as the darkness sets, uh, my starfish. But we never fished this uh, spot before, so we don't know what it tastes like. So yeah, not a bad uh, session, could have been better, but it's a new winnie, so we didn't know what to do. If you get anything, uh, we'll get back to you guys. <laughs> Fast baits ready, uh, guys. The longs I've caught before, it's on the running ledger, on the spinning rod. About two or three on swatch lit. Bust this one up. And I'll hopefully get a nice size bass with this. Can't get pressure in this. 
Right, let's go. Black look, full mackerel, and the uh, full lawns. Hoping for a big bass there. And, uh, bass on that, and a taupe on that. <laughs> About an hour left till uh, high tide now. Only got like two or three arms fed on this one uh, on the lawns. Uh, running ledger. So I'm hoping a uh, nice big bass on the shallows. I'll take that any day. Poor Ben up catching dogfish. But we shall see. Fingers crossed. Something big. Yeah. On the full macro. Another doggy. So strong, aren't they? Right, last cast is gone in. As I was packing up for the other rods, uh, just turned around and the rod was going mental, literally. On a worm bait. That was a that was a good bite, uh, cracking bite, and probably a bass. Uh, yeah, so just casted this uh, last rod out. Uh, just got one rod out, uh, last bit of a berm on it. So hopefully get a last cast bass. Got a lovely uh, moon out as well, full moon. Oh, yeah, it's been a long day. If you get anything else, obviously, I'll get back to you. If not, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.